This edition of Nyberg is coming to you from inside a mobile pub. So, good evening. I want to introduce the co-founders of this. We have Marco Marcella and we have Thomas Keene. So, who had the bright idea that you're going to do a mobile pub? Um, Tom, you want to go first with this one? <laughs> well, <laughs> He's telling you first. Well, so, Tom, you know, how, how did this happen? So it's a 1962 Shasta... Shasta Camper, yeah. Shasta Camper that somebody found where? where where'd you find this? In Basra, right outside, right out a town on the top of uh, the casino. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and you said, I think this would make an awesome bar. So, we were... Um, We've been working together at a bar uh, for many years and... For like 25 years, food and beverage. Something like that, yeah. Something. yeah. Okay. So we write a wedding and uh, the big thing now is food truck weddings. And you had a food truck, food truck, food truck, and the bar was a table. So um, after discussion of being in the bar business, uh, there was something missing there as far as the bar, you know, the bar... There was a camper the, missing. That, there was a camper, there was a Shasta camper missing. <laughs> So we, uh, we called each other and we called each other crazy and then we called the called each other again and one thing led to another and here we are and thank you for having us too oh you betcha all right so how does one deck out a camper to make it a bar well i think there's a lot of you know we tried sweat echo yet first but <laughs> we realized the product was a little out of our range so we started to hire professionals we just kind of got our hands dirty like inside the pub itself where you're sending actually was that's where the bathroom was all right and we had a couple beds right here so we came in and just kind of just got creative with it gutted the whole thing out and then we kind of said what can we do to make it a bar and just one, one day at a time, and now here we are. So a year and a half, year you've and done half. about 50 weddings or events or, sure. or whatever parties. You both have two jobs. You have four kids between sure. you, yeah. right? <laughs> what's the best? And two great wives. And two yeah, great yeah, wives. Absolutely. I love it. Two great yeah. wives. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the best thing about doing this? So the best thing about doing this is uh, when you travel, you get to meet a new group every event. And part of our um, atmosphere is really trying to connect with each client and their guests. And that's something we strive to do. And we hang out with them for the few hours that we are. We pack her up and hopefully they call us back. But it, that's, it's really great. All right, so somebody had to have a truck to pull the camper. So where'd you get the, because this doesn't drive itself. That's right. So how'd you work that out? So we actually have a network of drivers that help us out. And certainly they come pick us up and they drive it to the location on site. And then after the, they, they drop it, and then they come after the location done and pick it back up. So it's, we have a, a network of drivers to help us out with that. So. Did you ever think about being entrepreneurs? I mean, because that's what you're doing right now. No, it just uh, one thing led to another, and uh, we're just trying to enjoy the ride as much as we can. All right, what's the worst thing about having to work with a 1962 Shasta camper? Well, I'll, maybe I'll let Tom answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly, there, there's quite a few uh, things that were difficult, but I think at the end of the day, is just like, you know, getting something that was really old and giving it new life. I think that's what we've done, and we've kind of retrofitted to something I think that's functional today, and people are really enjoying it. I think that is really gratifying. Are you the only one in the state? We are the only one in the state, yes. yes. Will there be, a, are you going to franchise this? So we have a second one already on the road and we're building ah. a third. So we, oh. we're already progressing. All Shastas or something different? Yes, at the curb, do you have a 62, we have a 66, and we have a 68. I love that. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go on a tour sure. of the Shasta. So let's start with this. So this actually is the original logo from our original Shasta caravan. It was on the outside of the camper? Yes, it was. And it, so we wanted to keep it authentic, so we actually brought that into the pub. As you actually move around, this is one of our commercial grade kegerators. Each one of our pubs is outfitted with four taps. You can have your choice of beer. So one of our favorites is Two Roads. So, we so it's craft beers from the state of Connecticut, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. We, we like to support local business. So we like Two Roads and Black Hog are two of our favorites. All right. Then we've got a sink behind you, which of course every bar needs a sink, That's right? That's correct. Yep. Right. It's, it's a working sink. Working sink for sanitary purposes and drainage. Um, for service, you have uh, two ice bins with uh, speed racks. Uh, to uh, to service then, the guests. Yeah. Now up here, I, we see a lot of um, John Hancock's. People are, are writing notes to you guys. What's the deal with that? Sure. So every guest, client, family, friend that we have signs the pub uh, with a nice message. Hopefully, a nice message, <laughs> wishing, wishing us well. Yeah. And uh, part of our 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 uh, motto there is everywhere we travel, they travel along with us. And hopefully, you'll have the opportunity to sign it as well. Okay, and as far as events go, you can just serve beer and wine, you can serve soft drinks, you can uh, serve, you know, top shelf right. liquors if you want. Absolutely. It runs the gamut. What's the strangest event you've gone to? Wow. Strangest? I don't know. We, we've had a lot of fun events. I don't think it's ever been strange. We think every event is unique in itself, but uh -huh. we, I mean, I think the 
We've done the Gilmore Girls, which has been great. We did a really great event in Bridge, Bridge, um, Bridgeport, which we the did. The Gilmore it. Girls. Gilmore Girls Fan Fest we did. Oh, that's, that's a, right. that's a okay. national event in which yep. we were able to service thousands of people from all over the world. And we um, had two of our pubs there. And I think that's been one of our favorite events. But I think every event itself has just been really gratifying. We really enjoy it. So you found the other two Shasta trailers. Where'd you find them? And how did you decide, hey, we got to franchise this because it's working? So we, um, online is big now, but uh, being around for the year and a half, we're actually getting uh, texts and calls for people that have yeah. Shasta. They want to get rid of yeah, them. Yeah, they want to get rid of them. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. Um, which is really neat. So uh, yeah. that's really great. Do you think it'll go beyond three Shastas? We, we certainly hope so. So yeah, you're going to franchise this? We're, we're taking one step yeah, at a time. Yeah, we're taking yeah, one, yeah, one, step one, at one day at a time. One day at a time. One event at a time. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of demand. We've got to make sure we've got a good foundation first. All right, and as you're serving the folks at events, there's a lot of this. You know, you're, you're stooping down a little bit. Yeah, sure. Um, but you can move people through. Through How many bartenders do you have on? Two so or three? Generally, we have three. Three is the most, yeah. yep. Okay, so they yep. line up like this. Yeah, sure. How hard was it to ret retrofit all of this? It was tough. It was, you know, in, in the initial process, it, it's tough because you haven't done it before. So it's trial and error. And, you know, we did the best we could as far as uh, trying to fit everything and make everything functional. Yeah. But as you, as time goes along, you start to hopefully think that you're getting better at it. So. Yeah, and our, our other pubs actually outfit a little bit different. So we actually, for functionality purpose, we have the both kegs up in the front of the keg, I in see. front of, of the pub, and the sink back there. So it actually works better for larger scale events because it's more functional. Now, I see you also set up bistro tables out here outside the bar. That's just to bring the uh, inside out a little more. It's all about atmosphere, too, yeah, I would exactly. say, ambiance. We want people to feel like they're, they're part of the bar. We don't want people to come up and leave, we want to stay and enjoy the actual. And are you playing music on board too while you're doing this? It depends on the event. So, you know, at weddings have bands, DJs. Mm -hmm. um, birthday parties may have a DJ, but we do play music if they ask us to. And we also, behind you, we do stream live TV. Oh, so we, okay. yes, at any given event, we do stream live TV, so whether that be. Um, and this would be Animal Planet. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yes. It's one of our favorites, actually. Yeah. One, of, one of my kids' favorites, right. but no. All right, so it's a full fledged bar. Yeah, and we have what? full liquor inventory too, which is really important. Absolutely. So, so I thank you so much for coming on thank and telling us about this. And best of luck, you're a year and a half in. Thank you for having us. It was such an honor to be here. Yes, thank oh, you so much. Thank you. Give so it a wonderful. Much. Thank you. Spend all night kissing and a bump is right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetrack to find my solution. I find the keys to the door, but it's also a metaphor. Things to keep locked in the grocery store of the mind. Just the same time, I skip right ahead to the last ride.